I'm Eva Sadowska. I represent Barca Foundation for Mutual Help. I'm based in London and I run Barca projects in London. Uh, I'm from Poland and we are, uh, we've been working with um, Central and Eastern European migrants in Europe. Uh, first of all, um, Eastern Europe, cent Central and Eastern Europe and Africa have a lot in common. Uh, we even had the same colonizers, you know, like Germany, for example, um, colonized both Poland and Tan Tanzania. So, w well, through, col through colonial regime, through occupation, we do share um, a lot of feelings and we both of our continents, uh, both Eastern Europe and uh, Africa, have this commitment to rebuild the communities on the ground, you see. And we are in a position to do it from scratch because a lot of African countries were completely destroyed, such as a lot of the Central and Eastern Europe through war, through uh, Soviet Union regime. So we are, you see, in the position to start projects of new generation, new partnerships uh, between local authorities, civil society organizations, the scholars, the business community. And I came here to learn about how to apply cultural diplomacy to bring all the partners together, um, all the partners from all these sectors, all these communities, uh, the business, social entrepreneurs, scholars, to sit together at the table and uh, share ideas how to rebuild our community. We have some tools to, that we've developed over the last 25 years of freedom in Poland, uh, such as social cooperatives, social businesses, schools for social integration for long-term unemployed and the vulnerable. And uh, also partnerships, it's, it's all done in partnerships, affordable housing programs. A lot of representatives of African diaspora came to Poland to visit these projects and they were completely inspired. They said that this is what Africa needs, more than humanitarian assistance being given food and medicines, which actually does not progress the community, does not develop the community in the in long term. It, mo it more keeps the current state of affairs, sustains people. It's very important, but people need empowerment. So they say a lot of these Polish models do apply to, to Africa. And this is what we are preparing for, this partnership of Eastern Europe and Eastern Africa, here Ethiopia and Kenya. We are going to implement those projects on the ground with the support of European Parliament, European Commission. Um, and this is, uh, it, it's a great example of cultural diplomacy. This is what I'm learning here, of the importance of, of using these tools to, to bring people together and learn from each other. It's been very emotional for me, you see, because, um, well, I do think that somehow Africans, what, what we can learn, uh, you see, from our African brothers is the spirit of solidarity, spirit of sensitivity. Um, oh, you, you wanna, uh, what, we can, what we can learn from our African brothers is the spirit of solidarity, the spirit of what they call harambe, which is I am because you are, and th it was it was very uh, obvious throughout the conference. People showing so much interest, you see, in, in one another. Um, people sharing uh, food and, and laughs and tears together. People not, not being afraid to show emotions. So um, I think that we have a lot to, to learn from one another. And